Okay, here's an example problem. Here's what's given. We have a parallel plate capacitor and it has an area of two centimeters by three centimeters. And the distance between the plates is one millimeter. And we've got regular old paper, just plain old paper between the plates. And what we want to find is what is the capacitance of this? And what is the maximum charge I can get on that plate before it goes poof? You put too much on there and you're going to burn a hole in the paper and, and it'll arc across and you'll have a short circuit. Um, so if you're watching this on the video, just pause it now. Try to work this problem and then if you get stuck, unpause it. That's the idea between these for these. Um, all right. So, well, okay. Uh, the first thing I got to do is figure out what the capacitance is. The capacitance is equal to my di uh, dielectric constant kappa times C naught. Okay, and this is a parallel plate capacitor. So this is going to be kappa times. Now what is the equation for the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor? Well, it's epsilon naught times uh, the area, right? The greater the area, the more charge it can store for that gi for a given voltage drop. Divided by the distance between the plates, the farther the plates are across from each other, the weaker the electric field, the less charge you can fit on that plate. Okay. Um, and so we can now figure out uh, the capacitance. First, let's look up Kappa. All right, here's my table that we're using. And for paper, the dielectric strength is 3.7. So that's what we'll use. So this is going to be, and I want you guys to help me out here, uh, is, uh, well, let's just plug all the numbers in. The capacitance is equal to 3.7. <coughs> Now what was epsilon naught? Epsilon naught was times 10 to the negative 12 coulomb squared per newton meter squared. Now look in here, everything's in terms of meters squared or meters. You know, we've got newtons, which is a meter. So if we're going to multiply by the area, and the distance, it has to be in terms of meters. So this is going, the area is going to be 0 0.02 meters times 0 0.03 meters, right? And the uh, distance between the plates has got to be 0 0.001 meters. Now, if someone would be so kind as to do all the calculations and verify that the answer is 20 times 10 to the negative 12. Now, what should be the units here when the, you cancel them all out? Actually, coulombs per volt <laughs> or farads. It's kind of awkward to write it like this, so we just write it as 20 picofarads. So that's a 20 picofarad capacitor. You can go to Radio Shack and you can find a 20 picofarad capacitor that, you know, looks something like that. All right. Now, so, the, so that was for part A. So there's my answer for part A. Now for part B, um, there is a uh, paper has a certain quality of helping to prevent um, electricity from sparking across and it's called the dielectric strength and here it is in our table and we look it up and we say okay for paper you can get 16 times 10 to the 6 look up here times 10 to the 6 volts per meter. Now, if I put 
one meter of paper between those plates. That would be an odd looking capacitor. But if I put one meter of paper between there, I could get 16, what is 10 to the 6? Million volts before I would get a spark through that paper. And you would get quite the explosion and a fire, because paper burns. Uh, but happily, I, I, I'm not going to get nearly that voltage. And I don't have a meter of paper. What have I got? I got a millimeter of paper. So what you do is you take this dielectric strength and just use units here. You've got 16 times 10 to the 6 um, volts per meter. OK. You multiply that by the thickness. And what does this give you? What does this give us? OK, what's the thickness of the paper? One millimeter. That's 0 0.001 meters. I think I can do the math in my head. OK, that's equal to, uh, this is 1, 2, 3. That takes away from that. So this is 16 times 10 to the 3, or 16 what? 16,000 volts. This gives us the maximum voltage I can put on that capacitor before it will go poof. Well, now I can figure out what the maximum charge is because I know that C equals Q over delta V. Well, I know the maximum delta V is 16,000 volts. So Q is going to be equal to C, which is 20 times 10 to the negative 12 farads times delta V, which is 16 times 10 to the 3 volts. And you get a, an answer there. And you'll plug all that in. And when you do, what do you get? Has anybody done it yet? Shall I cheat and just look at the, OK, I'm just going to cheat. Um, you get 0 0.32 times 10 to the negative 6 coulombs. Now, why would I express it like this? Why don't I go 3.2 times 10 to the negative 5, which is probably what your calculator will give you? Yeah, because we usually write charge in terms of microcoulombs. So Q is equal to uh, 0 0.32 microcoulombs of charge. And that's how much charge will be stored on this capacitor. If you exceed that, you got, you'll, you'll re need too much voltage and your capacitor will go poof. So let me back out here and you can see the whole thing in all of its capacitance, capacitance in all its glory.